Do you have that one person in your life that's a little bit too loud? We all know that one person. Let me introduce you to the Shut the Heck Up 1000. Put this on their headset and make them be a little bit more quiet. I mean, it works on kids. It didn't go that time. The original idea came from me playing Rocket League a little bit too loud and my wife was complaining and I kind of just wanted a measurement of how loud I was. So using the Adafruit Blue Fruit, this little circle bob, which is kind of like an Arduino, but not an Arduino because it's in Python, not C Sharp. Anyway, it's really easy to use. Link in the description. And then I just grabbed the servo and attached it. Now the little blue fruit thing in my bob has a whole bunch of sensors on it. And so I'm using the microphone on that to control the lights and to control the servo. Now, initially what I wanted to do was create some sort of little, uh, like a speedo. And so when the audio would go up, the lights would go around and also the handle would come around. I also wanted to have kind of like a mechanical handle to show what was my maximum level. But then I was talking to a Twitch streamer called The Alias, go check out her channel. And she recommended, what if you could like, just, just tap someone on the hand? You know, hey, you're being too loud. The hand. <laughs> and that's how that idea evolved from a simple dial to getting smacked in the face. Now I was lucky to have the microphone sensor within the Adafruit, um, but I did contemplate having an external microphone as well, just to really capture the audio from my face. However, I think the sound bouncing off the room everywhere and then hitting the side of the head, I think that was enough. Now the design of the 3D print was fairly straightforward. I did it all within Blender. We know that I love Blender. I had the correct dimensions of the blue fruit because I just used the vernier and then measured up the servo, put it all together, made it a little bit lighter by putting the giant hole in there. Now I was able to actually press fit the blue fruit directly into that circle bit. So it's not coming out. And then on the back side, I just hot glued two pegs in and that's what connects to the headphones. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. Now there was some unexpected things that happened is when the motor went, it continued to go. Now the reason for that is, is because of the vibration and the noise of the motor was actually filtering directly into the Adafruit. So all I did was just extended the time to do the next reading by a second and <laughs> sorted. Now the coding of the device was fairly straightforward because it came with like a massive library of examples. And so all I did was got the code for the lights, got the code for the microphone, got the code for a server, put it all together, straightforward as you see. I probably should have used lists and arrays to make this life easier, but meh. The biggest challenge that I was having is more the programming side um, because I've been doing a lot of C Sharp within the Arduino ecosystem. And then coming back to Python, it's, I feel that I just keep forgetting things and having to constantly look stuff up on how things work. But you know, the programming brain, it's, it's, it's going, it's going. <laughs> I think if I were to do this again, I probably wouldn't change anything. I think everything just works together so nicely. It's a really nice ecosystem. Maybe put a cover over the top of it. But other than that, should be right. Let's just kind of quickly talk about the feedback loop as well. So the feedback loop is my audio being a little bit too loud, picked up into the microphone, which controls the lights and the servo smacking me in the head to tell me to stop being loud. I mean, that is a pretty good loop and it's not too abusive. Let me know what you think about this video. Hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below. Let me know, tell me, do you like this idea? Do I continue this idea?